families that are still grieving. We have unresolved open wounds, not only in families, but in our community. Long time cases waiting to be solved in Washington County will now have a chance at moving forward even decades later. It is 10 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola and new grant funds coming to Washington County will ensure the county's newly opened cold case unit will be funded through 2026. Jamie Seymour digging deeper into the impact this is going to have tonight. Jamie. Jeff, more than half a million dollars of federal funds will help continue the county's efforts to solve those past violent crimes using DNA. Decades old cases are getting a second chance through Washington County's cold case unit launched back in 2020. We wanted to make sure we could actually deliver on what we had hoped to be able to accomplish. So that first arrest proved that this was a worthwhile endeavor for us. Three years after getting federal funds to create the unit and cover the work of detectives and researchers, Washington County made its first arrest earlier this year. Robert A. Trops accused of killing his wife, Deborah, 35 years ago. We were investigating that missing person, believing that foul play may have occurred. The grant funds through the U.S. Department of Justice prioritize prosecuting felony level cases with the help of DNA as technology becomes more advanced. We're taking the modern science and the modern approaches and we're applying that to older cases. And this week, Washington County commissioners voted to approve an additional half a million in federal dollars to keep the unit running through 2026. The motion carries unanimously. The DA's office has at least 43 cold case homicides going back to 1968, 14 of which have DNA, with more possible in the other cases. But with this new funding for the unit, the office will be able to branch out into other cold crimes. That also can apply towards significant cases like sexual assault cases, where we have extended statutes and limitations in Oregon, thankfully, which is a good thing the legislature's done. As detectives continue to pour over these cases, DA Kevin Barton says there is a reason they've kept them open. And as loved ones never gave up fighting for justice, neither will they. We can't deliver on everything. I mean, we've got over 40 unsolved homicides and we will not be able to solve all of those. And that's hard to accept, but it's a true reality. But boy, if we can solve two, three, four, five, and so on, I'll feel really good about that. DA Barton couldn't go into further detail, but says they have identified some of those cold case files in the mix that have a good chance of moving forward and hopefully being solved soon. And those are all cases that we are going to continue to follow here at Coin6. Reporting live in Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin6 News.